Welcome to Motorhead Garage presented by Top Code. Well, if our classic Chevy pickup truck looks familiar to you, that's because we used it in a prior episode to put a wire harness in. And you know, we got up under the dash here and we realized our gauges, well, they don't look good, they're not bright, and some of them don't even work. You know, I got an idea. I know exactly where we can turn. Dave, help us out. Well, I don't know if I have all the answers, John, but I know Steve from Brothers Trucks does. If you're doing a restoration or just making a couple tweaks to your truck, you guys are the place to turn. Yeah, so um, today I brought a bunch of instrument cluster parts and I just want to kind of give everyone an idea of what's available if you're dealing with a stock dash or you're going all the way with like a super custom dash we basically have everything and it's sometimes gets confusing so I just want to bring everything in kind of show it off starting over here with your stock replacement parts now everything that you see like kind of right here you know that's stock stuff if you got a bad gauge let's say you're just trying to drive your truck but your fuel gauge doesn't work your oil pressure gauge stopped working we have those replacement parts if you're doing a restoration also those are helpful because you can you know replace individual parts as needed there's also some gauges here that we carry like this vacuum gauge which wasn't super common you wouldn't find that in, in anything but maybe like your one ton one and a half ton trucks but if a guy wants to put a vacuum gauge inside of a half ton or a three quarter ton truck we have those options as well and that's kind of cool gives you the option to fill the dead hole in that space because most of the trucks came with a dead hole in the dash there not even a clock no not even a clock which actually now we have a clock you couldn't even get a clock back in those days but in these 67 to 72 trucks we actually have a reproduction clock that looks like a factory one fills that dead hole and makes good of that space and we have gauges for everything 47 all the way to 87 replacement gauges and we actually just recently came out with some gauges because back in the day they were kind of dumb gauges right they were low on one end and high on the other and so we've made factory looking gauges now that instead of having low and high they have your actual oil pressure so zero to 60 or say your temp gauge 100 to 240 or something like that so those are kind of cool and i love that because it's subtle yeah it's the original look but Right, but you get a little more intelligence from your gauges that way. Great. And then as we're moving down here, these are some lenses that we make that help you do some of these conversions that we offer. So if you're converting to say a tachometer and you just add a dead hole here, here's your tachometer letters on here. If you have a tach and you wanted to add one of our vacuum gauges I mentioned before, there's a lens for that. Outstanding, and then let's look down here. You're doing a tach conversion? Yeah, so um, most trucks didn't come with a tach, but you know, we make a factory tach and you can take a stock gauge set in your 67 to 72, your 63 to 66, or your 73 at 87 square body stuff like this truck behind us, and you can add a tack into one of those vehicles, and it looks like, like it came from the factory like that. And most of them are super easy plug and play, like this wiring harness here. It's basically three wires. One goes to the back of the tack, one goes to power, and that plugs right into your fuse block, and then one goes right to your distributor. And so these are super easy. That's how the factory did it and we offer the housings that are pre-punched so you can see the tack which is important and also the back housing which allows you to mount the tack so yeah those are super simple stuff to upgrade and when you talked about upgrades well this one's super simple this is i love this one this is plug and play right, right? So this is an entire dash assembly yeah and uh when it comes to on the back there's a couple connectors and that is it you just plug it right in and you're ready. right so this one looks like jewelry I mean, when you look at it, like, I mean, it is shiny. The gauges are perfect. Everything's awesome. Obviously, this one's got our new clock conversion in it, but this one also is featuring our 8,000 RPM tack, which wasn't a factory thing. The factory tacks in these trucks only went to 5,000, but clearly guys are building LS engines and building hot rod, you know, performance engines that need a tack that goes higher. And if you're trying to stay with a stock look, but you need those RPM, then this, this is the dash. And, and like I said, it looks like jewelry. And when you get it in front of you, it's even better. And we touched briefly on the fact that this used to be a dead hole. Right. So what kind of options can you have there? I mentioned the vacuum, and then you've got your clock here. And then in some of the other trucks, there's other options you know, that you could go with as well, depending on what you're working with. And the other cool thing is we have a bunch of other gauges. This is like for your factory dash stuff, but we also have digital gauges that look like analog gauges that are plug and play. They work with your guys that have LS swaps and stuff like that. So that's actually kind of cool too, because they just plug in and everything works. Although you can go for hours through the catalog and through the website to find all kinds of options for 40 years worth of Chevy and GM trucks. Check them out at brotherstrucks.com. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by Topcoat right after this.